Hello, uh, my name is Enrico Benetto. I've been uh, active in research in Luxembourg since 2006. When I started a research line in life cycle assessment at the Public Research Center in Litudo. And then with the creation of a list, Luxembourg Institute of Science and Technology in 2015, I moved progressively to a research uh, manager role to continue developing the research group I created while uh, continue doing research and supervising PhD students uh, as much as possible. My core research area since uh, the time of PhD is life cycle assessment, which is a method to assess the environmental impacts associated to products, technologies and policies. So basically, if you want to know if the car you are driving, the food you are eating, or the house that you are building and using is green or not, is environmental, environmentally responsible or not. This is the method to use, this method that is used. So uh, with this method we can inform on the one side the uh, industries and uh, or the, or the policy makers how to better design products, huh? so how to, where to act, where to improve the environmental impacts of products. Uh, and on the other side, we, we can also uh, report on the global environmental benefits and damages of policies, for example, electromobility policies. Our research has significantly impacted the research community in LCA, but also uh, the practice, the industrial practice and the policy practices. I would like to mention three projects that were funded by FNR that are particularly relevant. The first one is Lucas. It was uh, the first project funded by FNR uh, in 2009, if I'm not mistaken. And it was a project where we studied bio, biofuels, so bioenergy, so uh, uh, energy produced by uh, biomass, by energy crops that are specifically uh, cultivated for energy purposes. So in that project we showed, for example, that uh, uh, this practice is not really environmentally sustainable and we did it by using, uh, by coupling economic models to LCA. That was one of the first attempts in the community to do it and then this has then been taken over by other research groups uh, uh, in the US and Canada and, uh, and in Europe. So we were a little bit pioneering in, uh, to that respect. The second project we'd like to mention is Connecting. Uh, connecting it was a project about mobility, in particular electromobility. So we studied the electromobility policy in Luxembourg, and we also anticipated in that project the, uh, let's say, the the future, the future state of electromobility in 2020. So the project started in 2015. Um, that project was also very instrumental because for the first time we used agent-based modeling, which is a specific technique to model uh, different agents, so that are cars and uh, mobility types. Uh, to then assess the global uh, environmental impacts of, of, uh, of a fleet, for example, or the entire mobility of a country. Uh, that was also particularly interesting because we uh, could also follow up with uh, other industrial partners, so for example, on assessing hydrogen mobility, and we also produced a, a very interesting tool, which is open to everybody, which is called CleanAbil, with which you can uh, assess the environmental impact associated to a specific car. So, for example, your specific car. So, you could use it, for example, if you want to change your car to compare your actual car to the new one that you want to buy. The last project that I would like to mention is Refund, which is very timely. It's about sustainable finance. So, in this project, we just finished. Um, we use LCA to assess investment funds. So, to try to uh, understand if uh, so-called and self-stated responsible investment, responsible funds are really environmentally and socially uh, responsible of not, or not. And that's really a very timely work that is also now taken up and I try to, uh, to, to transfer at the European level, for example, in the European plat platform for, for sustainable finance. So what are the challenges in my field uh, in the next future? I see two main challenges. The first one is moving from what we call relative assessment to absolute assessment. So, so far what we are doing with LCA 
is basically comparing alternatives. You compare a current product to a new one which is being designed or a current policy to a new policy. Yeah? So these are, we are comparing things, trying to understand what's better. Okay? But being better does not mean being absolutely sustainable. So being sustainable with respect to the so-called planetary boundaries. Huh? So this is the major shift that we are seeing in the scientific community, to move from relative assessment to assessment that can really provide evidence that a new product or a new consumption huh, is compatible with the boundaries, climate boundaries, but also biodiversity boundaries and other uh, types of boundaries, so that we are not really arming the system to a level which is uh, um, unbearable. The second challenge that I see is the integration uh, of the environmental and the social dimension. So far, we assess them separately. So we assess on the one side the climate change impact, uh, what we are all observing uh, over, over the last year, so the disruption of climate, and separately we assess social impacts, for example, energy poverty uh, or uh, injustice. The two things are indeed related. So the main challenge and the big challenge for the future will be to connect the two, so to see following climate change impacts, what are then impacts on social issue and on social well-being. And then finally to have social well-being as the final target of our assessment. So that too, that's really um, get very close to what we now uh, hear in the media, for example, about fair transition, you know, fair sustainability transition, and the measures should be connected. So this is the second major challenge that is waiting for us in the next few Thank you.